Here it goes. We're going to be taking my gal Liz to the red side. She's going to be a fiery ass, beautiful redhead. But of course, before I do any color service, you've got to check that natural level. She sits between a five and a six, so this was perfect. This is us, of course, yucking around, showing her the beautiful palette that I'm about to put on her head. I mix 7MB plus and 6RC with 20 volume at a root. And then I did highlights with Beyond Bond with 20 volume as well. I use a 20 volume with her root color because our 20 volume only gives us one level of lift and I really only wanted to get her to a six. But since the monochrome is highly pigmented, it's gonna give me the depth that I'm looking for. She's never had permanent color in her ever, so this is super fun. Her low light is 8C and 7CG with 20 volume as well. Because her hair is virgin, I could use all color. I was so excited to do this because I didn't have to, you know, lighten her whole head and then use toner or color or whatever the case may be. I did the highlights in between to get some dimension, but I wanted to use color to get the overall effect. I, of course, am using my big papas with my painter brushes to do all of her foil work because I wanted it to look like a balayage. And making sure to saturate, saturate, saturate is one of my stylists says the mush, mush and gush technique. Never folding my foils in half because I want to make sure consistent coverage and consistent lift. Whoops. I literally just alternated it all around her head. Highlight, low light, highlight, low light. And of course, making sure to give her a bright, bold face frame money piece with highlights right against the face. This is the 8C and 7CG low light. And of course, a snack break. Look how stunning this pull is. Ooh. Ah. I washed her out with Kenra Professionals Color Charge Series, of course, to get her prepped up. This is the highlight low light. Beautiful. Her all over glaze was 6C, 9CC, and 8ROM. Mixed at a 1 to 1 ratio with 3 ounces. Before doing any color service, I love to use our Porosity Equalizing Spray to ensure proper coverage. I let this process for about 20 minutes before rinsing mood when I saw how beautiful the color was. <laughs> Before doing any blowouts, I like to layer in the blow dry spray, the color charge serum spray, the Lux One Leave-In, or the Pearl Detangler, and a little bit of the Transformation Mousse. See how she just lights up by being a redhead? I cannot believe we waited this long to take her to the red side. Are you obsessed? Because I'm obsessed. This turned out so good.